you have to be like water you know learn to be like water adaptable. Fit, adaptable fit into any vessel have a sense of calm have a sense of patience but ambition is extremely important and i don't just say this to girls i say this to boys and girls just everyone who wants to be able to have a purpose in life have an ambition have the guts to find your glory it's extremely important to have guts to have conviction to be able to say that you know this is what i want and i want to achieve it um i learned it from the very very strong people in my family that i looked up to that showed me that it doesn't matter what your circumstances are it matters how large your dreams are and um i have really large dreams there's something about knowledge there's something about if you learn even if you don't know something if you have an ambition to be somewhere if you prepare yourself you have the ability to be better than everyone else i i like to be prepared for everything even if it's an interview even if I'm, if i'm going for a red carpet even if something is trivial to someone honesty is very important in relationships um whether it's with friends whether it's with family whether it's with your loved one whether it's in a romantic relationship i think being real to what you really are feeling is very important and a lot of people don't have the guts to do that because we are always pretending to be a certain way so that we can maintain a relationship but i think the healthiest relationships happen when you have the ability to call out someone and say well that's not right or i don't feel a certain way and you're wrong or you're right and to be able to talk about it um it takes taking that cloak of being um careful about your emotions off but that's very important i really feel like you are defined by every time you're defined by what you do next not what you left behind there's no point of doing the same thing over again i try not to do the same thing over again you have to take risks risks are so important in evolution um playing it safe yeah you can have an existence but you'll never be someone who's a trailblazer um uh, my dad was extremely sensitive but he was also like my biggest champion the one thing that i learned with from him was the hustle he he always taught me that don't be afraid of the failure what you do next after failure is what will define you uh everyone fails it's going to happen to you it's going to happen to me it's going to happen to everyone instead of sitting on your hands and saying i can't do it again find the courage inside of you and saying what can i do differently how do you look back into your mistake and say all right that was a mistake great not doing that again um that's something i really loved from my dad my parents never wanted me to have a what if in my life what if i had done it what if i had tried that so they always supported me they said no matter what you do whatever mistake you make have the confidence to come and tell us because like even if you kill someone my dad i remember him telling me this even if you kill someone come and tell me i'll help you find the body i'll help you uh, bury the body but then i'll take you to the cops too <laughs> so you will you'll always have to have courage of conviction we spend our entire lives trying to figure out who we really are and then we change and then we figure it out and then we change again and i think that's the most constant right i'm constantly changing constantly evolving and i'm hoping that everyone's still curious about me as i keep doing that we i've had so many times whenever i'm doing interviews people always ask me that oh you're doing a movie with you know a female co-actor did you guys get along were there cat fights but when it comes to boys they say oh my gosh that looks like a bromance and everyone got on so well so i feel like over time because women had the lack of opportunity we were pitted against each other because we had there were only like five opportunities like five places a woman could be hired and so we were elbowing each other out to get to that one spot so the the crux of the problem is the lack of opportunity for females and the more opportunity we create for each other the more sisterhood will grow we're 50% of the world's population we need to be represented in every field like that we need to be empowered by each other by the people who are in positions of power by putting us in positions of power so i realized many many years ago that the more i champion women in my own small way maybe i'll be able to create a world around me at least where you know women run the show because we kind of do it really well we just aren't <laughs> given the opportunity enough you know yes <laughs> when i was very young i started working when i was 17 years old and i remember my mother telling me this really young 
that women should be financially independent. It doesn't matter who your father is, it doesn't matter who your husband is going to be, it doesn't matter who your brother is, it doesn't matter who the man in your life is. You need to be responsible for your finances and be financially independent.